a citizen of the United States. <laughs> Serious? You guys don't want it. You guys aren't allowed to take it because of your no, job? You take them. They need them. Just tell them we get these protests every day for something. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. I, um, I don't know. I, I, I hope this one's different. I, I hope the people are different. I hope the way that everything is going is I mean, different. My, most of the protests are people, you know, peaceful and everything. You only get a couple of the nut bites come down. Like the IMF people. You bite the lights and stuff. Yeah. It's, um, one of the, the one of the guys who's leading this group used to be an ex-federal agent. Right. What got him started, he used to do search and seizures. Uh, he used to, he kept being convicted because people would accuse him of breaking the Constitution. He asked him, people were asking him by what right did he have to come in and search your property and seize it. He took it. Finally, he, he finally started studying on his own, studying the Constitution, studying the laws, and studying the, the rules that they operate under. There's some really crazy people that have joined into this, like me. <laughs> Ex agent, I was telling you about. Now, they try to tell you that I'm a bozo and that I'm just crazy. This is my graduation ceremony from Glencoe, Georgia. And they elected this crazy guy class president. It's me. The IRS is lying to people. And uh, people are fighting it. I'm hoping about to hammer on people that I knew I didn't have the authority to do it. And you guys have been taught about the uh, color of law. So that's all I can take. Take it easy, guys. Stay cool. First, I'll get his boss. Home is concerned. Show me the law. Is we have personally. Uh, taken on this issue to research it to understand the truth about what's going on. Um, to get more to my point, when, I, when uh, I found out that there was the Senate finance hearing on Thursday at 10 o'clock, I immediately called my congressional representative and, uh, and I asked if um, he could get me or tell me how to go about getting a comp copy of the transcript out of that hearing. Um, he told me that he didn't understand any reason why I couldn't asked me to hold on and told me he would immediately connect me with the Senate Finance Committee. Um, when he did that, um, I was answered by a hello. And I was kind of shocked that that was the way they would answer the telephone in the Senate Finance Committee. But then I found out that they had been bar or bombarded with telephone calls about the issue. Um, so I asked, what, what, what could I do or how could I go about ordering a copy of that transcript? Well, the first thing that I was told um, as an insult on my intel intelligence was that that transcript wasn't even available because they hadn't even had the meeting yet. Well, that's true, because it was 10 of 10 when I called and asked. But if you understand, my question was, how do I go about ordering a copy of that transcript? Well, when he, again, told me that uh, there was nothing he could do until after the meeting, but he told me that he would connect me with the document department. So the document department answered the telephone and proceeded to tell me that that transcript was not available. I said, I understand it's not available because the meeting is about to take place. But when that meeting is finished, how can I go about getting a copy of the transcript of that hearing? Um, I was told at that point that that transcript would not be made available to the public. That, that that transcript, the only way that I could view it would be to come down to the office of uh, the Finance Committee and I could view it personally. I could take notes on it, but I would not be permitted to copy it in any way. It would not be allowed to leave the office. So with that, I accepted that answer. I called my representative back in Congress, and I told them that as my representative office, I demanded a copy of that committee uh, testimony and, and transcript. They told me that, first of all, they couldn't understand why I would be denied that. They had no understanding of that whatsoever. The other thing that they told me was that they couldn't understand that if that issue was as important as it was, why more people didn't understand it was taking place. So that's the story of what happened on Thursday on the telephone. I do look forward to getting a copy of that transcript. I'm anxious to look at it. I'm also anxious to find out about what specifically went on in that meeting, and we will make that information known as well through our Internet site and through our radio program. So again, thank you all for coming. What was your site? The, the website is instituteontheconstitution.com. I plan to do that. I do plan to do that. Again, ladies and gentlemen, the thing I can encourage you to do, make sure other people understand the truth. Don't get all spun up in, in, in what it is we're all about. Stick to the facts. Because this issue scares people. They don't know how to deal with it. Stick with the facts. Be very specific, very concise, and make sure that they understand what is in violation here. Make sure that they understand that they're becoming a slave of the state. Because that wakes people up. Um, hey. Hey. Hey.
Um, again, there's just a little bit more fear on their side where it belongs. And um, all of this is making a difference. But we have to, we need a sustained effort. We can't let up now. And again, from the point of view, the foundation's point of view, our objective is government of, by, and for the people, not of, by, of, by, and for the government. They work for us. We want answers. We're demanding at this point answers. And after today, as far as I'm concerned, the people are justified in taking stronger action. Frankly, I don't understand at this point why anybody would pay this tax any longer. So let's hear from uh, Jerry Jackson. to thank everybody for coming out. Uh, you are a brave set of people. As far as where we go from here, uh, I encourage you to continue to educate the people in your community, come up with ideas to get your churches involved and your civic organizations. One of the things that I've been doing ever since the IRS has come back with all these uh, terrorist, terroristic threats against us is I've been telling people, okay, there's $400,000 worth of reward money out there if you can prove that we have to file and pay an income tax. Now, people, if you believe the government is right, why can't you get the $400,000? Hey, this will be easier than winning the big game. This, this is serious because what I don't like is for people to be uninformed. Now, I don't like for people, and I, I know I'm preaching to the choir here, that's why I'm telling to you this way. I don't want people to look at me after I've told them this information without, uh, without having done any research and come up with an opinion about it. So I challenge everybody to come up with some research that will show us and you know, I'll rejoice with them when they get the $400,000. So that's, a, that's one of my main talking points now. And I want to address a little bit about the 60 Minutes. Uh, I was appalled at the 60 Minutes 2 um, presentation. Amen. Now, this, this lady, Raylana Field, that talked yeah. to me at least 90 minutes, at least twice, and I'm sure she's talked to a whole bunch of the other researchers and gotten enough information to give a balanced story. But it's time for us to start turning off the television if we can't get unbiased Amen. reporting. Okay? And as far as the Cato Institute guy is concerned, I am not a foolish hero. I am a Christian woman who has turned off the Oprah show, shunned Judge Mathis, and ignored Days of Our Lives and the practice. I've picked up a copy of the Constitution, the Internal Revenue Code, and the creature from Jekyll Island. I found out that I've been raped and duped for years. And I'm sure you have too. And this can't go on. My college education for my children has been taken away from me. And all the sweat and tears in my office with all night visuals to get deadlines has been for the benefit of other than those in my household. And I'm not going to take it anymore. And so I stand here again and continue to ask the same question. Where is the law? Show me the law. Yeah.